dotted line. Plans for the doubt for your freedom ring and patriotic voices sing. Red, white, and blue, never give up. You represent America! Liberty's kids. If Congress continues promoting these fools into officers, we will surely lose the war. Washington's troops taught the ways of professional soldiering by the aide de camp to King Frederick the Great of Prussia. They're learning from a Prussian? Who cares how we stand if we know how to fight? We were already starving and living in rags. If Washington lets von Steuben keep treating us this way, he won't have any army at all. Dearest mother, remember in England how I complained about the cold? And now I welcome the snow as a friend because it stops the war. There it is! Valley Forge! Washington's a genius! It's close enough to Philadelphia to keep an eye on Howe and his winter quarters, but far enough away to avoid a surprise attack. Philadelphia. Don't worry, Henri. We'll win it back. Can't we talk about something besides more fighting? How about Washington wanting to use this time to train our forces to become a disciplined army? Or how all the soldiers who've suffered so much will finally have a chance to rest and get healthy? <laughs> <gasps> oh, no. <coughs> it looks worse than we thought. you, Henri. Marquis, we hoped Valley Forge would be a comfortable place for our soldiers. Come, James, are these not miracles? A prize of $12 was given to the best built in each regiment. Maybe you should have offered more. General Washington refuses to follow the bad example of our enemy. He does not believe in angering private citizens by forcing them to house his soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> Chimney still needs work. <coughs> but we heard there'd be more food for the men and warm clothes. Yes. General Washington himself is off trying to get much needed supplies from General Green. But I'm so glad you arrived before I left. Generals Conway and Gates have asked me to attack Canada and to take it back from the British and liberate my countrymen. Sounds like an interesting story. Perhaps we should go with you. I'm still packed. Ah, uh, but then you would be missing the greater drama, Henri. Washington's troops taught the ways of professional soldiering by the aide de camp to King Frederick the Great of Prussia. They're learning from a Prussian? Lieutenant General Frederick von Steuben, a tremendous hero, as hard and as seasoned a man, I am told, as has ever lived. <laughs> There. That's as hard a man as has ever lived. You should have stayed with James and Henri to report on the transformation of ordinary citizens into a true army. What happened? Those must be the supplies the soldiers are waiting for. Lying there, abandoned. Alas, Congress put our supply lines in the hands of shirkers who prefer British gold to the good continental dollar. Philadelphia? 
They spelled Philadelphia with a K. I'm going to write about this. No. General Washington begs us to hold our tongues. He doesn't want the troops to lose faith in the government. He'd rather take the blame. Valley Forge? Where's the valley? And where's the forge? The forge was burned by the British. As for the valley... Well... No meat! No meat! No soldier! No soldier! Look, lads. Someone drawn by our jolly song. Joseph Paul Martin's the name. Paul Barack. Mmm, what's cooking? It's fire cake. We make a paste out of flour and water and cook it on hot stones. Thanks! <laughs> you there! Captain Elias Treadwell. At your service, sir. Why is no one in uniform? We are in uniform. Oh, forgive me. English is not my first language. In Russia, to be in uniform means to be dressed alike. I'd wager anything that the rumor's true. Congress is eager to make anyone with a foreign accent and fancy ways a general. You think von Steuben's a fraud? Who can say? But I intend to find out. Sir, why do you harass me? I say to you what I say to others just like you 35 times a day. Congress gave me no power to hire officers. But I am of merit. Sir, you knowing that you are of merit is a good and pleasing thing, but it doesn't mean it is known to everybody. You insult me. I am of exceptional merit. <laughs> Heaven forbid he has the price of passage. If Congress continues promoting these fools into officers, we will surely lose the war. <laughs> A courier from Valley Forge told me you'd be coming. Moses! How good to see you again. And you. With Ben's presses working again, I value a man whose exploits can fill so many of our pages. Marquis de Lafayette. My dear Conway. General Gates awaits us at Irwin's Tavern. On to Canada's Liberation. Pardon, friends. We must make our battle plans. But I shall return with the beginning of a glorious story. You look troubled. I don't trust Conway. Or General Gates. Neither does Benedict Arnold. He told me that Gates has more ambition than courage or ability. Look at this leaflet. It's anonymous. But Gates and Conway are seeing that it's widely distributed. See? It blames Washington for every failure of the government. They hope to turn the public against him and toward Gates as the new commander-in-chief. If Gates and Conway can make it appear that someone as popular as Lafayette is shifting his loyalties from Washington to Gates, I've got to warn Lafayette what they're up to. Sarah, wait! <laughs> Pardon me, gentlemen. Do any of you know how to stand at attention? You mean, stand up straight? Yes. We know how to stand up straight. Then pray do so. I shall be using you to train the man. In what, however, I can't imagine. Did you see how he spoke to me just then? Heels two inches apart. Shoulders square to the front. Who cares how we stand if we know how to fight? Maybe Washington didn't know he was like this. We were already starving and living in rags. 
Now we're also stuck with this Russian trying to make us a professional army. Mark my words, James. If Washington lets von Steuben keep treating us this way, he won't have any army at all. Be. I've gotten so turned around. Ah! Sarah! Moses! Thank heavens! How did you know where to find me? You were heading for a tavern? To Lafayette! A toast to the future hero of Canada! Hear, hear! In the company of his equals at last, and free of the civilian general of Valley Forge. With the good Marquis reporting only to me, we shall become a triangle of power with no man to stand between ourselves and our own high ambitions. Wait! Hmm. A toast to the man who will have my eternal loyalty. A most excellent and esteemed general, General Washington. I would never go against Washington. Marquis, wait! They think by giving me command of the attack on Canada, I would turn against Mon General Washington? What are you doing here? We came to warn you. But it doesn't appear we needed to. Come, we must warn Washington. The schemes of those two dogs will not end with me. I'll get the presses running, so everyone will know what they're up to. I said kitchen's uphill, latrine's down. Do you expect them to walk there? Baron sure has everyone jumping. He's turning the whole camp upside down. What are you up to? Baron Von Steuben's orders. Air out the straw in your mattresses, clean everything inside and out, take a bath. I tell you, James, I may be named Plum Martin, but that Baron's Plum Crazy. Corporal, I ordered your company to assemble. That'd be me. Where are the other 99 men? It appears he's all that's left, sir. Appears? Where are your records? I am not a secretary. Not a secretary? Do you have fingers to count on? Do you have toes? Do you have the... the uh, Corporal, yell at him for me. I, I, I need more English words. Sir, you may not appreciate our brand of military discipline. However... How can I appreciate what you don't have? We are the soldiers. We are the uniforms. No one keeps records of anything. Corporal, what is that? I think it was a critter of some sort. I reckon that's where it died. A sample of detail to remove it from the camp. Why? Why? Because it stinks. Because it carries disease. And because uh, I say so. Oh, all right then. Captain, assemble. Somebody, we drill for battle. That's for me. Henri? Pardon, Monsieur le Baron. I want to be trained. You? <laughs> Little filled mouse. You're no soldier. Then neither are they. But they're the best. They just need to learn what you have to teach. Between you and me, I think you may be right. Very well. You may train with us as our mascot. And perhaps our good luck charm. Hooray! If I were you, I'd keep my young friend away from Von Steuben. He's a monster. These men need their strength to survive and fight, not drill and clean up around the camp. Shouldn't soldiers drill and keep the camp clean? A lot you know. He told me I should win the devotion of my men. Is that bad? Discipline comes from an officer holding himself aloof, an object of awe. You cannot command and be a wet nurse. 
I'm making inquiries about our Baron. And if I can dig up some dirt, I will get rid of that fraud. Left oblique. March. Right flank, march. Column left, march. Ugh. Sorry about that. Stop! 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 I dream all moves so you can outbase your enemy, and you're still like sleeping rocks. Dunderheads, you would lose against an English statue. If this little boy can do it, why can't you? General Washington has told me of your stamina. Many of you can run a mile without breathing hard. Is that correct? Sure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But he also told me that because you can't run together, you must advance in single file to be shot like ducks in a row. The army that can outflank its enemy is the one that survives. That makes sense. He's right! Outflank. He has a point. Sir, would you please show us again? With pleasure. Down the hatch, my boy. Excuse me, Baron. I'm from the Pennsylvania Gazette. If I could ask some questions. Certainly. Here you are, lad. Drink the broth slowly. The boy fainted during drill. Too sick to stand. My lunch was only beef soup, but... You gave him your food? Ask you questions. Um, I've heard you were a lieutenant general in the Prussian army. Bah, rank. All I need is this. Next question. Ah, well, uh, how does our army compare to European armies? In other countries, you tell a soldier to do something, he does it. But an American, he needs a reason. Because this fight is his fight. I've never seen such courage. And in these wretched conditions, any other soldier would have melted away. I am thankful Franklin sent me to be part of this. Then Franklin sent you? Yes. He said Washington's genius is what he doesn't know, he learns. He thought drilling was a disagreeable necessity. But now he sees. You drill the man so each one can be as strong as the next. Strong as iron. Right. Because the weakest link can destroy the chain. James, I've got dirt on von Steuben. A soldier who served under him in Prussia is in this very camp. He says von Steuben's neither a baron nor a general. You're certain? Well, the soldier's off on patrol, but I'll ride after him. When I return with his testimony, that will be the end of our baron. He seems to know what he's doing. I'm the soldier, James, not you. I believe George Washington will lead us to victory, and I'm not about to let this phony baron destroy our army. But, James, we have something urgent to convey and can't find Washington anywhere. I last saw him by the kitchens. Kitchens? What kitchens? Nothing is where we left it. Including Washington. He's off to meet with General Green. But we must warn him about Gates and Conway. He'll be back by morning. James, is something bothering you? Captain Treadwell has bad news about Von Steuben. I must talk to General Washington. One, two, three, four, left oblique, march! <laughs> General Washington, I must speak with you. The Baron is a Don't fraud. listen to him, General. Your Excellency, we must speak with you. I think that... Sir, please. It's urgent. I have vital information. One at a time. One at a time. Conway and Gates, they plot against you. Yes, I know. You do? They're fools. My only concern was the credibility they might gain with you by their side. But I could never stop you from trying to regain Canada. Vive le Général! Mwah! Mwah! They're not the only ones who deal in trickery. Look, General, 
a signed affidavit that von Steuben is not a baron. Please, General Washington, may I speak? Wait. Will you look at that? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. To the rear, march. To, to the, the rear, rear, march. Captain Treadwell, Baron or not, von Steuben has given me what I need. A professional army. By the way, General Green came through with food and clothing for the men. The supply wagons! Come, Captain. The measure of greatness is to create something with a life of its own. For Washington, it is a nation. For von Steuben, it is... an army. Dearest Mother, I try not to think of the future, but I can't help being moved by the future these soldiers see for themselves. Forward, march! One, two, three, four, left the fleet, march! Hold. Sweet potato dumplings. Pardon, General. Someone just spotted a British spy getting an eyeful of our camp. Excuse me, where do I sign up? Let the spy go. This is something I want our enemy to know about. Come, I will show you. We will win this war. For whatever tomorrow brings, today there's life and hope and pride. Complete march!